the second fast and dirty exposure and response prevention tip actually came from a viewer, so thank you. And that is to remember that you actually can resist the urge to check. We'll often use words like, I have to check, and I need to check, and I, I can't not do this. And you know, once this, you know, I start to worry about this, I have to do this, and I need to do that, or things just won't be right. And that becomes a really big problem for a lot of people when they're doing exposure and response prevention because the whole point of exposure and response prevention is to expose yourself to the trigger that normally would cause you to engage in a compulsive behavior and then to not engage in that compulsive behavior. So the anxiety goes through the roof because you're doing something that your brain is telling you is the worst possible thing to do in the world. It's going to cause all sorts of problems. It's going to cause people to die. It's going to cause you to die, whatever it might be. And that causes a lot of anxiety. And then we start to think, oh, but I need to. Uh, but I can't not do this. I should do this. I have to do this. And it's really helpful to start to recognize that when your brain is using that kind of language and you have that feeling, that that's actually part of the disorder. Right? That is the problem. And you actually can experience that and not engage in those compulsive behaviors. You can make a decision there. Even though it's going to feel incredibly difficult, it's going to be painful, it's going to seem like the worst possible thing in the world, but you can get through it. And getting through it is going to actually help you experience that less. It's one of these weird paradoxes of recovery that if you really want to experience those feelings less, you first have to experience them more. But if you can take yourself up and over that mountain of anxiety, you're going to experience those thoughts, those feelings, those images much less. So it's that weird paradox where if you really want to go through that, when you start to hear your brain saying you can't do it, you need to do it, you have to do it, you should do it, recognize, oh, that, that's, that's unhealthy. I know that my brain does that because it wants me to do something unhealthy, so I'm not going to do what it's telling me to do, or I'm going to do the opposite of what it's telling me to do, and I'm going to not engage in those compulsions because I know that I can do it. So I'm telling you right now, you can experience that anxiety and not engage in the compulsions. You can learn to not check, and it's difficult, but it is possible, and you just have to keep pushing on through. We spend years of our lives checking, and so suddenly to turn around and say, I'm not going to check, I'm not going to engage in these compulsions, I'm not going to engage in that activity, it just seems like something that we can't even really conceive of at first, but you can do it. Right? You really, really can learn to not check. You can experience that anxiety and you know you're going to be okay. And so that's the second tip, and it, it might seem really simple, but it's such a big stumbling block for so many people because they get into that situation and then they feel they need to do something, they, they should do something, they have to do something. And the fact is that you don't have to, and you don't need to, and you can carry on and, and do what you know is healthy instead of doing what you've done before, which you know is going to take you to an increasingly unhealthier place. So that's the second tip. So really, if you do the first tip, right, bringing something into your life that typically you can't control yourself around, uh, you, you're going to experience this, what we just talked about in the second tip, that incredible spike of anxiety, that urge that makes you feel like you really need to do whatever it is that you know is unhealthy for you. And then in the third tip, we're going to look at a slightly different kind of compulsion, and that's the compulsion to avoid things, to not do things. 